Matt from Cleveland, Ohio, fresh off a of Browns victory. What's going on, man? Hey, Ryan. Glad to be here. Good, good. All right. Quick question. Santos Escobar, perform as a heel or perform as a baby face? Uh, definitely a heel. Um, I agree. I stopped watching NXT, but we got a diff the Phantasm, I was still watching when they were in there, and I enjoyed that whole, the whole scene, the whole setup, the entrance, the music, looking like, you know, um, Mexican Mafia, uh, and then with the LWO stuff on the main roster, just, I would feel like it, for Santos, it has not clicked the same, so this turn was good. Yeah, I felt that uh, he was doing just fine, but I think he's much better as a heel. I thought that he was kind of just swimming as a babyface, but I think he has way more upside as a heel. And I think turning a babyface and really establishing him on the main roster and then turning him heel on a, you know, on a legacy style like Rey Mysterio, breaking up the LWO or splitting up and going the other way, it will do him in the better in the longer run, opposed to no. kind of bringing him in as a heel and yada, yada, yada. But I think that they've kind of done Santos upright. Uh, let's talk Santos. Let's continue on Santos before we get to the other guy, Carlito. Santos, what do you think his ceiling is coming in, coming out of this fresh heel run? I mean, most likely his ceiling is mid card champion. Okay. Um, probably, I mean, you could fit him into like a chamber title shot for you know the big belts, but I I'm just not seeing him ever at the level where at a premium lab event it's. Seth Rollins versus Santos Escobar or Roman Reigns versus Santos Escobar. I just don't see that happening. Right now, I kind of tend to agree with you. Uh, I feel that he'll he'll do very well in this upper mid-card role. I could see him potentially getting that United States Championship before Rey Mysterio comes back, depending how long Rey Mysterio is out. But say past WrestleMania, sometimes next year in the summer, I can see him as you, your new new United States champion. But, oh, definitely. I almost yeah. feel like he has to get it or the whole turn doesn't work. I mean, he's turning yeah. because Ray cut him in line, and then if turning doesn't get him his spot back in line, what is he? Yeah, and I like kind of like how uh, Ray just – Ray gave him an inch of saying, you know, good competitor – you were a good competitor. It was a hard fought match and, uh, you know, kind of, kind of pointing to like, ah, oh, you had your chance. You just didn't make it. And then Santos took that inch and he's going to run a mile with it in the heel run here. So big upside for Santos, maybe not the upper, upper tier, but I think he'll be quite okay. And perhaps you never know if, it, if, it, if he catches hot, I think he's a guy that Triple H likes and would favor, you know, in, in a push. All right, let's talk to returning Carlito. We haven't seen Carlito on WWE TV Besides the Royal Rumble in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. at Backlash, since what 2010? It's been a long time. A long ass time, man. But Carlito from 2004 pretty much to 2008 and nine was a real mainstay in that Santos potential Santos run of an upper mid card or a mid card guy uh, holding Intercontinental and United States championships. Throughout that whole title, uh, throughout that whole mid card run, uh, and he's back in a legacy star. Uh, I kind of dig it. I've always liked Carlito. I never necessarily felt that he was under pushed, but I felt that he was uh, under appreciated. If that kind of makes sense, what do you, what do you, what's your thoughts on Carlito? I loved him, you know, fifteen years ago, <laughs> uh, which is crazy to think of, but. Um, I thought he was a great character then. Um, they haven't really gotten too much into the character since his return. He's kind of just like, I am Mysterio's friend at this point. They haven't gotten any depth in there. And I think, honestly, the thing that's hurting him the most is the lack of that of his original theme. He, still, his theme has some like, wait, who's this? It takes me a second. I mean, they, I know with copyrights, but I feel like, why isn't he saying I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool at the beginning just like that little hook so you know and i mean he's in much better shape than when he was in like physically i mean he's a step slower but he looks like he's in better you know better physical shape much better than me clearly <laughs> i think this will be an interesting match i'm glad to see carlito get a one-on-one -on -one shot um if for nothing else then all the pictures on twitter of that random his last 
one-on-one PLE match was against Triple H and some sort of fever dream I have no recollection of. But well, I actually think I did that on Place to Be with Justin and Scott. I think it was a cup. Uh, ooh, yeah, I think I did it with Justin and Scott and, and yeah, one I, of the Place to Be. Unforgiven 08? Oh, yeah, I think it was Unforgiven 08. And what's wow. crazy is I just I listened to that and I still have no recollection. <laughs> like I watched <laughs> it, I've heard you guys talk about it, and it just <laughs> right out my ear. So I actually think I went three and a quarter on. It. I thought it was actually kind of good. <laughs> I I'm gonna have to go back and check it out. Match. I think I, I was the highest on it. But anyways, so, that, so. Fine, that was from years ago. I think Santo uh, Carlito's in a good spot, and I think maybe perhaps they will maybe give him that theme or at least that intro to the theme once he's past mm -hmm. this spot. This spot is clearly meant to put over Santos. This right. spot is kind of made to kind of solidify him as a returning star. But once they kind of want to go with him outside of this, maybe that's perhaps when they give him that back, when it's about him. not It's yeah. not necessarily about Carlito right no, now. Really not. But I'm glad I he's back. I, but yeah. I also – I do. I did a little nugget that I want to throw out there. I know that he was interviewed on the cheap heat podcast and he didn't even know his music was changing until the day of. So he was a little surprised too, that he didn't uh, get the uh, spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool theme. So there's a little nugget there. He, uh, he was signed and he was sealed and ready to go, but his theme was taken away from him and he doesn't know why. So perhaps hopefully he gets. So Ryan, what do you think happened to the other, uh, LWO slash Legato guys. I know he attacked him from behind, but is this a scenario where it's like, you know, after we thought about what you said, because I feel like as Santos muscle will be helpful for him as compared to just, because I think if they stay face, they're just going to fade into the background. Well, I know you say that you don't watch NXT much anymore, but I think there are two in NXT that are visiting there that are repackaged their tag team that would be perfect with Santos Escobar and a revamped Legado del Fantasma, and that is Humberto and Angel. Those guys went down there to kind of establish, to get rid of the Los Lotharios, establish their roots, get back to Garza, the father, and the uncle, whatever. So they're going back to their family roots. Perhaps that Santos maybe takes that in and they kind of form their own family in the long run there. So uh, we'll see. Cause I think yeah. that Cruz and Joaquin wild are fine, but I just feel like they're inconsequential. And I think there's more upside with the other guys, but they could go full circle and this could be a swerve. And the, and the original legato, even look, including Zelina could kind of get back with Santos and then they got to get back on the legato path. Maybe Ray and Dragon Lee and Carlito and whoever can go in the LWO path and then they kind of go their separate ways eventually after the feud. But uh that's that. Man, I'm 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 kind of surprised that this match is on the card, but I'm not mad at it. I'm I'm kind of excited for the two guys. No, no, I mean I'm going to Survivor Series, taking the six hour drive, and I mean I'm glad it's on the card. I mean, I don't think there's a there's a currently there for me, there's not a uh, popcorn match on it yet so might have to uh just uh bring a little bag or a cup or something <laughs> i think uh, i think you'll be all right maybe maybe Rhea and zoe you can kind of veer off a little bit and take a quick <laughs> one on the entrances but don't you worry these people love putting peacock ads in 10 minutes that's, in between matches so there's your bathroom break right true. there but uh, these matches are compact I, we got five announced right now heading into raw tonight but we'll see if we uh, we get any more. But either way, five or six, I think no more than six. Yeah. Well, I mean, the two war games are going to be most of the card anyhow. Yep. Any ch As we get out of here, any chance Carlito wins this match? None. I mean, the Rey Mysterio knee surgery that he can't come and cost him, the Santos the match, I think puts it in as the 100% lockiest lock ever. Of yeah. I would say minus 10,000, you know, it's. I would say Vegas likes Santa Santos quite a bit too. Matt, yeah. anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Check out I mean, anything. I, I know you're I'm, a lifelong fan of the place to be in the no so, so you, you know, happy yeah, I'm to just there. finally getting brave enough to do it. I get I'll be on Cronoso coming out soon. Yeah, um, next week. yeah and um, I'm hoping to do more of this. I mean, my uh, Twitter, if you want to be really bored, is at Feral Comedy. <laughs> uh, from when I did stand up a million years ago. Um, but feel free. Would you like to throw one at us as we get out of here? 
One last um, singer. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. Like, uh, like, quick be funny. No one has ever succeeded in that ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, quick be funny. That's it. Uh, uh, it just breaks my brain. Awesome. I, man. I'm hey, sorry. <laughs> check them out, guys. Matt, you did great. Thank you as always, pal. See you in the next one. <laughs>